everybody, Mike aka the Magico 13 here with a new series. This is the IVA space program where we fly all of our ships from within the cockpit. As you can see, this is definitely a modded install. We've got real shoot, we've got TAC life support, deadly reentry, Kerbal Engineer, um, remote tech, a bunch of different things. Um, but yes, I decided to go with B9. Oh yes, we're also using Interstellar, B9, um, KW Rocketry. I, I decided to go with career mode. I was originally thinking of sandbox mode, um, especially because I was just doing a career mode series. Um, I decided to go with career mode simply because there's so many parts that I just don't know what to do with them. So this will kind of ease me into them. Um, it'll also sort of ease you guys into them. So first things first, we need to get at least five science. And that's probably all I have time to do right now in this recording session. Um, probably there will be more than that in this video. As you can see, we've got uh, the clouds mod and uh, it would be a thought over there, but uh, maybe not. Um, let me just say that... Uh, oh, here. I'll just show you. Let's go to the tracking center. This is not your average KSP install. There's Gilly. There's Ike. What's going on? There's Tylo and Elu and Jewel. Kerbin is in orbit around Jewel. Where's th where's the moon? What is this? Pop? That's weird. Oh, there's the moon. It's orbiting Jewel and we're orbiting Jewel. What, what is going on here? Well, this is the um, Alternus Kerbal mod, uh, which places Kerbin in orbit around a very colorful and honestly very pretty Jewel. Um, so we will get to see that firsthand in a moment. So like every, uh, first career mode save, we're going to just throw a couple, uh, fuel tanks onto a ship. I'm going to do this actually. Um, and we need a parachute, so let's throw one of the real shoot main shoots on. Um, can put some, uh, maybe, if it'll let us. Well, let us put these on. I don't know why it's not letting us put these on. Can I put one on? Yeah. So it's just some weird symmetry issues, it looks like. Alright, so... Yeah. Let's see, how do these drogue shoot shoots work? They have a different deployment altitude. This is 700 meters, this is 2500. Um, Alright, so these should go first, slow us down, then this will go. Um, so I think it's all safe if I put these all on one, and then put this on one, name this, um, we should come up with some sort of naming series. So this is going to be mission one, so this will be 1A, um, and then First launch. One other things I want thing I want to do is I want to put the flight engineer on here. Alright. So here we have our ship. 
ready to go, except that's not how we're going to look at it. This is how we're going to look at it. So what we have here is the raster prop IVA um, setting thing, mod words, yeah. So there's various different things in here. I would like the, I generally like to have them set up in sort of this kind of way. Um, well actually, one thing I need to do I need to set up action groups for doing crew reports um, because we don't really have an easy way of doing this. Alright, so let's test that. Yep, crew report. I'm going to not actually keep that. Uh, let's look at some of these. So yes, with flight engineer and with these, we should have plenty info. Plenty of information on our screen. Um, these two stages need swapped. Throttle up. Okay. And now I would like to go probably north. Let's turn SAS on. Launch. Alright, 600 meters, 1000 meters. I think we're just going to ride these up. Doesn't do. Oh, we are tilting down quite a bit. All right. Heading south, which is not really what I wanted to do, but you know what? Might as well stick with what we got. see, no thrust, no thrust away, okay, let's activate our liquid fuel. Currently 33 kilometers up, upper atmosphere of Kirkland Shores, uh, quite a bit of fuel left, what have we got? Another kilometer per second, let's switch to the Oracle. Oh, we're gonna get really high up with our apoapsis. Um, let's see, I don't really want to go into orbit, but time to apoapsis two minutes, let's warp up. So we are now in space just above Kerbin, so I'm going to do an EVA report. Keep that, that actually is enough data that we can unlock the next node. I'm hoping that we land over, um, there's Kerbin. Hoping we can land over, or on land, and then do a surface sample. I'm also hoping that, yeah, I have an alarm about to go off because I have to go pick up my girlfriend, but hopefully we can finish this before then. All right, so we're up to 106, our apoapsis of 128. Go up. Just gonna burn along the horizon. just to see how far that will get us. Alright, so we are out of fuel now, and I just want to look at map view. That will probably put us in the oceans. That's alright though. I'm going to... I guess we have deadly re-entry installed, which 
could be an issue. We're gonna just time warp. How fast are we going? Two kilometers per second. Do some physical time warp. Take a couple pictures of us descending onto Kerbin. So yeah, I have I have a lot of high hopes for this series. Um, it's going to be kind of different from things I've done in the past. I'm curious, just yep, it's kind of what I expected weird it's flickering between both of them both the the fiery effects and the non fiery effects um still getting those surface display i'm going to deploy these to shoot Apparently we killed Jeb. Okay, I should have deployed the drogue shoot sooner, it appears. I have a really bad habit of killing Jeb on every mission. Whoa, whoa 47G? That seems to be a bit of an issue. Hopefully... We will probably not be allowed to recover this. Well, that's um, it's an unfortunate start. <laughs> um, but I guess with every start, there's always failures, which we can hopefully learn from, except I don't actually know if I'll get any science for this. That's just spinning out of control. Wow, 47G. I have no idea what happened. And there goes my alarm. Let's recover. Maybe we'll get a little bit of science from this. Yep. I mean, we got 13 science, but uh, Jeb died and I turned off uh, respawn. So at the very least, we'll have decouplers next time. Um, not sure about how long this video is right now may have to split it might do shorter ones um so i'm mike aka the magico 13 thank you all for watching